everyone, it's Taylor Janet. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, today is August 2nd, so there's one official week until move-in day. This time next week I will be moving in, which is crazy. Um, for my school Spelman, there's a week called NSO or New Student Orientation. And that's basically just the first week of school where there's only really freshmen on campus. And we do a lot of like bonding activities and we learn about our school. And one thing that I most recently learned is that NSO has a dress code and I don't know how I didn't know like I feel like I was so oblivious or whatever but I had no idea there was a dress code until like yesterday the whole situation went as a little something like this Mari speaks how goes it it's going good it's going good I'm packing you know just trying to get it together these last couple of days same I need to like Start packing. <laughs> what are you wearing for NSO? Um, I don't know yet, girl. Do you know what you're wearing yet? No, did you know we have a dress code? <laughs> Wait, what? Like a dress code? A dress code. Like what? Like, it has to be two inches above the knee. It can't be spaghetti straps, no crop tops, no short skirts, nothing. No what? No ripped jeans. So I'm just like thinking about my closet here. Like, Oh my god. So no short skirts, no spaghetti straps, no ripped jeans, no crop tops. I think I'm gonna have to go shopping. That is the first week. You gotta pop out or something. Yes, gotta pop out, but like you gotta pop out in the dress code. I'll head up to the mall and then maybe I'll send you videos of like what I get. Of course, of course. But you know what you should do? YouTube video. You know what? That would be a really good idea because like the Spellman 22, like they're not gonna know. Like they won't have to be surprised. Like we were surprised about the dress code. We can give them some inspiration. There. Yes, you know what? I'll make a YouTube video about it. Do you want to make a YouTube video about it? Of course, we have to. We have to. Okay. So okay, this will be a thing. NSO lookbooks. You're welcome, Spellman 22. <laughs> There's a dress code. <laughs> PSA. Uh, PSA. There is a dress code for NSO. Dress code. Okay, I'm gonna hit up the mall, but I'll chat with you later. Bye, girl. Okay, this is how we do it. Pull up and we kill them on arrival. That's a drive by. Call a Uber because we lit. And you know it's pretty as we staying all the way on the west side. That's the best side. It's you to come through if you with it. So, like you saw in my little skit, I had no idea there was a dress code. I was freaking out. Like, it's not enough time to order things online, but I also didn't want to go to like Macy's or Nordstrom's and spend a whole bunch of money because, like, who has money like that to buy like a week's worth of dresses that are brand new? So I went shopping. I hit up Marshall's, Saks Off Fifth, and I think those were the only two stores I ended up actually going to. And I found the jackpot. Um, so I wanted to make a video showcasing um, different dresses that I found for NSO. They are all like knee appropriate, sleeve appropriate, and whatnot. And they were all really, really good prices. If you don't know about Saks Off Fifth, it's almost like the TJ Maxx, but for like designer clothing, if that makes sense. So it's like you get designer clothing, but like for way, 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 way discounted prices. And I really love that store. Like it's my store. <laughs> One thing I did forget to mention, I'm calling it a lookbook and not a haul video because I did get a lot of things from like Marshalls. And first of all, you can't even buy off of Marshalls website. I checked like TJ Maxx's website and I couldn't find anything. I know that you can find them in store and it doesn't matter like what time of year, TJ Maxx and Marshalls, they're always going to have good finds. It's not going to be exactly like what I got, but I'm just going to show you what I got for NSO for inspiration um, and just know that you can hit up those stores and find similar pieces, but they're not going to be exactly the same. So the first thing I got was from Marshalls, the brand is Adrian Vitadini. This was originally $36 and I got it for $20. As you can see, it goes below the kneecap. It's made out of linen, so it's gonna be really cool, especially because, you know, August in Georgia, it's gonna be hot, so keep that in mind. The next dress, okay, breaks a little bit of the rules, just a little bit. Um, it is a spaghetti strap dress, but I found a cardigan to pair with it. 
um, because I fell in love with this dress. This brand is called Beach Lunch Lounge, and I've never heard of it. Like, and I don't like look at the tags like when I'm shopping at TJ Maxx, obviously. But then, as I was looking at like the tags to like talk about these dresses. I realized I picked up a lot of their dresses. So this dress is from Beach Lunch Lounge. It's in the style Nicolette, color red. Um, this is in a medium. Originally, these dresses are around $80, but I got this dress for $30, and it's so cute. This next dress is from Lucy and Laurel. I checked all over online. I really didn't see much from them at all, so I, I don't know, but you'll find them at Marshalls if you like this dress. It's just an olive green maxi dress, um, basically a really long t-shirt, it's so comfortable, and I got this in the size small. This next dress is what I'm going to be wearing on Sunday for the all white ceremony. It's also by Beach Lunch Lounge, like I said, like I had no idea who they were, like I ended up buying like so many of their things. This is in the style Daphne in the color white in the size small, and yeah, it's just a white dress, it's simple. Um, for those of you who don't know, Spillman has a white dress ceremony where you have to wear a solid all white, like white, not cream, like not off white, white dress with black shoes that are closed toe, close heel. The next thing I got was also from Marshalls. As you can see, they really were good to me. <laughs> the dress is also Adrian Vidini. It's really just a hot pink shift dress. There's no like cling to it. I didn't get like anything fitted just because it's gonna be so hot. I don't want anything like clinging it onto my body, but I liked it because I thought it was a fun pop of color, you know? It's still technically summertime, so why not wear a hot pink? <laughs> this is the last dress that I got from Marshalls. It's just like a dark purple kind of color shift dress, and normally I don't like dresses of this material, but this one I really liked. It has like two layers, which gives it like a little bit of like something interesting to look at, and yeah. I just thought it would be cute to wear. This last dress I got, I got from Saks Off Fifth. Shocker, shocker, the brand is Beach Lunch Lounge. Like, I've never heard of them before and they're popping up everywhere now. I got this blue chambray dress. It's got like a little ruffly sleeve and I thought it was cute. I got this in the size medium. These, like I said, these dresses are usually around $80 and I paid $44 for this one, but I'm okay paying $44 for this one only because I feel like it's a dress that I can get a lot of wear out of. Like, I plan on wearing it in the fall with tights and boots. Like, there's gonna be a lot to do with a chambray dress. The other thing I was kind of last minute scrambling to get for NSO were my shoes. Like I said, they have to be close toe, close heel, all black. I got these shoes from DSW. They're Vince Camuto. Originally $100, but I got them for $35. That's why DSW rocks. They're just pointed toe flats with a heel. Most of the foot is exposed, and then they have a cute little lace up, which I thought was nice. I just know that I'm not a heel person. There's no way I'll be standing outside waiting in heels, because my feet will hurt, and I don't want to like start limping in heels, because I just don't think that's a cute look. It's just not a cute look. <laughs> Next pair of shoes I got were also from DSW. I only went to DSW to find the black shoes, but I realized I don't own that many pairs of sandals, and I figured that that's something I could use more for college. I got these Steve Madden sandals. They've got like an inch like platform to them, which is cool. The metallic, I really, really like a lot. I think it's cute. Um, these I can just slip on and yeah, I like them. These were originally, these were originally $70 and I got them for 50. And then I had a coupon for everything. <laughs> and these last shoes were actually the shoes that I was originally looking at in black for NSO. And they didn't have my size in the black, so I planned to try on my size in this camel color and then get them shipped in the black. But I fell in love with the camel color. Um, I think they're really cute. Another pointed toe. Um, they've got little designs on the side and they zip up in the back. Another lace-up sandal too. Thanks so much for watching my NSO or back to school lookbook. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you're a future Spelmanite, I hope that this gave you some inspiration to show that you can wear cute things and meet the dress code. I don't know. I'm not a rule breaker, so you will not find me like breaking the rules, especially the first week of school. But I do think that these outfits are like cool for the temperature, but they meet the dress code, and I think they're really cute. So thanks so much. If you liked this video, please give me a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for weekly content, and I'll see you in the next video.